what's good everyone Nosi here so over the weekend my 335i developed a check engine light or service engine light soon um cell so right after that it followed by going into lint mode so whenever it has a cell then it's going to go into lint mode and lint mode pretty much constitute of the car um shaking pretty badly um it sounds like a pretty much sound like a truck it sounds real loud and like yeah bad so um since i've had this car since like about 48,000 miles and it's currently 168,000 miles i'm pretty much not that surprised when it occurs but when the first time it occurs you're like oh my gosh the car is broke how much is this gonna cost no what the heck's going on oh no 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 but yeah you become numb to it after a while so the good thing is even though the resulting factor of it seems a little bit bad generally it's either oh, one of three things generally first thing is either it's going to be your spark plugs that's gone bad or two it's going to be ignition coils or three there's a boost leak somewhere when you went in boost leak somewhere when you went into like uh you stepped in the gas and boost start building and it's noticed that you're either over boost or under boosting or something of that nature but generally it's going to be your spark plugs or ignition coils so um coming to the meat of this whole video barbecue how exactly do we figure out what the heck the cell means so in my case generally what i use is my cob access port and yes i know cob is dead on the bmw platform why don't i just go ahead and um upgrade to something else uh i'll leave that for another video i'm not gonna get into this right here but um then i could probably use my laptop which also has like um input or any of those like factory diagnostic um software is to p is to d ryan gold and all that good stuff or i could use my um scan tools so i have a specific bmw scan tool and i have a, another general scan tool which works pretty good on like all the other different brands of cars but yeah i generally use the bmw specific one because in that in that that version i have i could pretty much um scan bmw module read all the modules i could activate deactivate things and it does um somewhat limited set of programming that you could do on it so control the modules to like register the battery reset the um steering angle sensor stuff of that nature okay so we're inside my car right now i'm gonna start it up put it in ignition mode and this is where my cop access port is um mounted up Plug in an OBD port, all the way, lights up. So I have the pretty much the first cop access port when they first dropped it. So yeah, I know they got like bigger ones, but it's like bigger, better screen, all that other good stuff. But let's say this one does the job pretty well. So I'm going to go to troubleshoot, uh, read codes, wait a little bit misfire cylinder three so pretty much what you could do is go ahead and change out either your spark plug or coil pack so in my case i looked at it already and it's my spark plug um so i'm gonna go ahead and order a brand new set of spark plugs and just replace all of them and then call it a day i could also clear the codes and then yeah i just clear the code after i'm finished doing the spark plug now to use the laptop portion, we're just gonna go ahead and use one of these cables, K plus DCAN USB interface cables. So pretty much plug it into the car, like so, and then USB it, USB port. <laughs> Lesson. 
and then it comes up in this cylinder three blah 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 blah, blah. Germany 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 so yeah that's what pretty much how you do it do impa but my current impa version is um not fully translated there's another version just floating around there and I need to get the updates on it but as I said I generally don't use this I generally just use this to do like coding or anything like that so I have to do NCS expert and stuff of that nature so yeah hence why I don't really use this too much I wouldn't really call it an option but if you do have the software set up correctly then sure you could go for it now one of my favorite um scan tools I actually picked it up at uh Harbor Freight so it's like a Harbor Freight, Freight special right here um it's good because it reads the OBD2 plus the uh, OBD codes pretty much for a variety of different vehicles so it's pretty much kind of universal plus ABS codes so just because it reads ABS codes I like completely love it for that because some cars I'm like fixing or whatever it's usually some ABS issues and it picks it right up like the other day I was using this to locate an issue with the ABS system on a smart car so and it actually read the codes on it I was like wow this thing is amazing I think it only costs like I don't remember what the cost was I'll put it in the descriptions below or while I'm editing this I'll put it somewhere where you'll see what the price is so pretty much on this all you gotta do is take this stick it in the port there we go and the power button go to diagnostics OBD and pretty much what it does is it um, scans through all the different protocols to see what it's able to communicate with the car with so normally I wouldn't really use this um, on a BMW anything um, import uh, but it still um, gets the job done so pretty much right now it's telling me that my mill status is not even on in which it is let's hit yes Oh, not my transmission engine then the codes it's not gonna show up in stored codes come down to pending codes then bam cylinder three misfire detected so yeah works just like that I'm gonna come back out and erase the codes or whatever I want to do with it so all in all it's a pretty good scan tool um it's pretty versatile in what it does. So I'd actually recommend it to anybody just to have in their arsenal of um, general scan tools. It's like the best one I've encountered so far at a pretty cheap price. So yeah. So here's my go-to um, device for when I want to scan or do any kind of troubleshooting on uh, BMW cars. Works on minis also, but I haven't really worked on much minis of late. Um, scans your codes you could do battery coding um service light resets and all that good stuff um even resetting the steering angle sensor and god it came with the pins if you want to work on like older or scan older um bmws like the e36s e46s with the pin cable like you literally gotta go into the engine bay stick it on the pin and scan it that way you can't do it from the ob port like right there so um yeah, how we did before, plug this thing into the OBD port, powers up, and you can use it like a general OBD um, reader for other cars by going into this first option, but since it's like BMW we on right now, select BMW, um, BMW again, scan VIN. So it automatically scans in um, information about your car. So mine's a 3 Series, 335.94 Auto, US, um, January 07 build, blah, blah, blah. Hit OK. And then it goes ahead and um, initialize connection with the car. Let's wait a few seconds. Still waiting. All right, so you could go ahead and um, leave it. 
control units and what is it? Drive. There we go. And then engine DME. And then you go to read codes. And it. Well, that's completely off. There we are. DME combustion misfire cylinder three. So yeah, that's the code. So it works out pretty good. You can erase the data and all that good stuff. Component activation. And it reads a whole bunch of other stuff on here too. Um, you could also code and stuff like that. Service information. Um, and if you want like a full scan of everything on your car, you could go ahead and scan every single module on your car and then report back whatever issues it might find. So you can either reset it, reinitialize it, stuff of that nature. So all in all, the different ways to read the codes on your 335i is pretty much either through your tune. Um, any of the tunes that come out nowadays, pretty much you can read the codes with it. Or you can use the IMPA application on your laptop, but then again, you'll still need to have that code, uh, not code, cable, um, to able to link it to the computer and, and the car. Or you could just go ahead and get a standalone code reader. Either one of them will work. Like I use the eBay special one and also use a dedicated one from um, Foxwell. And that one is pretty invaluable since I could also code on it. So it kind of has some of the features of the laptop but in handheld version and I can read all the codes and I don't gotta worry about translations in German, German to English and stuff of that nature. So um, most likely in the future, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on the Foxwell um, scanner and do pretty much more in depth of what it could do, what it can't do is, you know, limits and stuff like that. So till next time, Noshi out.